So good morning folks, outside it's raining, so this means that we're going to kick off a new series of tutorials. Um, it's going to be mainly about brushless gimbals. Uh, we first start with the small ones, then go to the bigger ones. And I split the tutorials into two main parts. First part will be the mechanical adjustment, which is all the most important. Um, so that the camera is balanced and the gimbal is fully functional. And then uh, we're going to do the full programming of the Alex MOS controller, um, starting with a 16-bit. And um, we're going to kick all this off with um, a very small gimbal from DYS. It's um, something like this here. Um, that would serve our purpose for demonstrating of how to just balance and the Alex MOS controller very well. Um, looks a little bit weird at the moment since I haven't attached any of the cables but this is um, fully serving our purpose of um, demonstrating how the full stuff works. So let's start um, with the mechanical adjustments and we are using a Sony um, NX5 for doing that. Um, all the material for fixing the NX5 onto the gimbal comes with the DYS gimbal. And um, what is very important is that if you start balancing a gimbal mechanically, you need to remove, um, for example, the lens cap because this would disturb um, the mechanical um, adjustment. And what's also important is that you put the lens onto that focal length uh, that you are going to uh, be using for your aerial shots because this also implies um, some disturbance of the, the, the center of gravity of the gimbal. So anyway, uh, removing the lens and starting, um, just balancing one axis after the other. And that is a, that is a good point um, for moving forward, so you do one axis after the other. Just a quick explanation on the, on the axis, this is the pitch. Um, camera moves up uh, or forward and backward. Um, this is the roll axis here and on the very top you have the, the yaw axis. So what you do first is you fit just um, the camera um, to the plate as good as it gets um, to start and then you check where the pitch axis is moving to. Make sure that this is really tight so what we see now is that the camera is very uh, front heavy, so not balanced at all. Um, what this means is that we need to move the camera more to the back, or the mount, we need to move the mount more to the back. So let's do this quickly. It's not the best um, adjustment system here, I would say, but uh, it will serve our purpose. So let's see if what, what happens if we move that all to the back. And what you see, still, still very front heavy. Yeah? So this means that we need to adjust this lower plate a little bit, um, moving out this piece and putting it into the last hole of the DYS gimbal. So we do have more um, way for movement. And then we really move the camera more to the back. Let's see where we are now. Now you can see it's back heavy. So this means we need to move the camera a little bit more to the front. Or the mount, move the mount a little bit more to the front until the camera is really holding its position on the gimbal. So what's, what's really important is that the camera uh, remains in all the positions you put it into. So um, what we can see now is that it's still a little bit too back heavy, it falls back. Huh? Um, this requires some more very small adjustments on, on the mount um, of the pitch axis. And let's try to do this here, move it a little bit uh, more to the front. Much. 
Let's see where we are now. So the uh, aerial professionals uh, amongst you guys will have a stand um, to really adjust all that stuff perfectly. I'm using my hand since, since this is poor man's RC here. Um, let's see what our pitch axis with the camera is doing now. So I think this is not a too bad adjustment for the time we spent now. We can leave that as it is. Then secondly, what we're going to do after the pitch axis has been adjusted, we're going to adjust the roll axis. So this is done um, with this little screw here, I hope you can see it in the video. Um, what we see now is that if we look from the back um, to the gimbal, it's tilting a lot to, um, to the left side. So this means we need to make it more heavy on the right side by moving this a little bit more to the right side. Fixing it quickly, putting the camera straight and what we see now is that it's now too heavy on the right side. So we need to move this a little bit back until this is, until this is really working perfectly. So the mechanical adjustment is of utmost importance, otherwise the, the motors will need too much torque. To move the camera you will get vibrations, you will have all kinds of weird stuff uh, resulting in non-stable pictures. Again, as said before, if I move um, the mount of the gimbal, it should stay in that position where I moved it to. It should not fall back uh, to center, but it really needs to remain in that position where I pointed it to. That indicates that we have balanced this perfectly. So that's not too bad, I would say, for the roll axis, still a little bit too heavy on the right side. We could move this back, but I think that's too heavy on the left side. Uh, let's move this a little bit more to the right side, still some millimeters are required here until this is really working and that should bring us now to a very balanced gimbal. That's perfect. Huh? So now what we're going to do is adjusting um, the yaw axis so that the weight distribution, the center of gravity um, is really fitting. Um, what is very important is that you mount all the stuff to the gimbal that you're going to use afterwards. Otherwise, it will disturb the center of gravity or your adjustment. So if you add more weight to the back or wherever, this is going to uh, not work. Um, so make sure that everything is mounted. This is um, also the reason why I've mounted the Alex Moss and all the stuff already. So I'm going to have the, the, the battery probably um, on, on the bottom of the, of the copter afterwards. But anyway, so what we do is, after we adjusted all the axes, just lift this up and you see it's tilting a lot um, either to the left or to the right side. So this means that the weight is not really perfectly distributed. And now what we're going to do is slide this yaw axis just a little bit to the front. There is um, stuff with which you can um, adjust. Uh, the position here. So we're just going to repeat these steps uh, multiple times. So still um, not perfectly balanced as it moves to the right. So we move it a little bit more back. It's very close to be balanced. Um, still some adjustments are needed. Um, in that case we need to go more to the front. And now what you can see is that it's almost holding up. Uh, moving now 
slightly more, slightly more to the left side. Uh, sorry, to the right side. Moving it back, just some millimeters again. It's it's really key to find the sweet spot here, so you need to repeat uh, that multiple times until um, you really are comfortable that the weight distribution is perfect. And what we see now is that I could point this to any um, angle and it holds up. So I would say for the time being this is sufficient for us. Um, and what we now have is a, a more or less perfectly balanced gimbal. So with the small ones I would say um, it's not that critical if some things are slightly out of, um, of, of the sweet spot. But on the big ones, you certainly need to do this perfectly. However, um, I, I do believe that the motors have enough torque. This will serve our purpose and you get the concept of balancing this game.